What is happening, people? It is Brian Alzu, WoodNeverState.com, and today we are improving the home gym. If you did not know, about a year and a half ago, I moved out here to a new house in the middle of the wilderness where I don't have any internet access, I don't have TV, and I have one bar of cell service. So it has been quite a change, but shortly after that, I kind of figured out that it's probably time for me to build a home gym. Now, before the inevitable questions come, guys, the original Never State Athletics does still exist, and yes, I do still train there. However, since it isn't manned or anything like that, it is a private club on private property, and it's not accepting any new members or any visitors. So, does it exist? Yes, absolutely. Do I train there? Yes, absolutely. Can you come? No, not this time. I'm sorry, maybe sometime in the future, but as of right now, no. Sorry. Now back to the home gym. So one of the previous owners of this house was really into cars and had this garage built, but it was just kind of roughed in. There was no plywood, there was no insulation, there was electricity, but that's pretty much it. So last summer, when I decided that I wanted to turn this into a home gym instead of any sort of garage, my dad and I put batten insulation in, plywood up on the walls, and then I put all the gym equipment in. And it's been working out really, really well, but my dad and I swore that we were gonna get in and remove all the junk that 30 years of previous owners have been sticking in the attic of this, this garage. And then after that, we were going to insulate the ceiling so that hopefully it'd be a little bit warmer in there for last winter. However, other projects came up that were more important, so we never got around to it. And last winter was a brutally cold lifting time for us. So a lot of times inside the gym, it was in the teens type of temperature as far as Fahrenheit goes. So to some of you that might not be very cold, but to me, it absolutely was. And I wasn't lifting with my body temperature in a normal level where I'm at. So I was getting a lot of little tweaks in like my lats and just little things in my back that really weren't being very conducive to very good training. And also on top of that, it's not very conducive to shooting good videos because I had to have like two or three sweatshirts on when I'm lifting and that's not really that cool to look at. So today's project is going to be taking all this equipment out of the gym because tomorrow a spray foam insulation company is coming to do the gables as well as the entire ceiling. Now spray foam is a lot more expensive than the batten, but I'm telling you after I spray foam all of Never State Athletics, it just worked so much better that I am a big fan and I decided to pay the extra money to get that here. Also with the amount of spiders and snakes to get in this place, then it's gonna be nice to seal up a lot of those holes. Now along with the spray foam, we are talking about picking up a couple extra pieces of equipment for the gym. We haven't completely decided on what they're going to be yet. It's really gonna depend on some Black Friday deals and things like that. But in addition to that, next week I'm also having an electrician come out to kind of look at the space and the insulation and everything to give me an idea of putting a heating unit in here so that hopefully this winter there will be plenty of videos and plenty of good training and no more little tweaks and stupid things from just being so cold all the time. However guys, I could use some help as far as the lighting goes. Now when they do put the spray insulation up, it's going to turn almost a whitish beige yellow type of color. So it will reflect some of the lighting down. As you guys can see and you have seen for the last year, the lighting in this gym is horrendous. So I want to change that as it goes. Now some people are telling me that I should spray paint all of the spray foam black and then put in some LEDs and that will work well while other people are telling me that's gonna shrink the space, make it a little bit too dark so maybe I wanna paint it white so it reflects more of the light. I really don't know what I'm going to do there. I've dumbed this down as much as I'm going to put a bunch of construction lights and string them together so that I can turn certain ones on and certain ones off as far as recording is concerned. Um, so really, if you guys are involved in lighting at all and you get an idea of what's going on here and you have some advice for me, please leave it in the comment section down below because I am at a loss and I have no idea what a good solution is going to be to hopefully make these videos a little better quality for you guys. Also, currently my family is going through some pretty serious medical stuff um, that I'm going to need to help out a decent amount with. So I'm probably gonna be a little bit more scarce, but in turn, I'm gonna try to put up a bunch of shorts, kind of like throwback Thursday type of stuff from like highlights of over the years, just random funny stuff or collaborations or things like that will be showing up on the channel. That does not mean that that's what it's always going to be, guys. It's just uh, during these holidays, uh, I have some family members that are probably gonna need a decent amount of help and I want to be able to be there for them, so I might be a little bit more scarce here. Now that doesn't mean, I don't love you guys, I'm not thinking about you guys, but you guys know priorities and family does come first. Anyway guys, I will keep you updated about all the changes that are gonna be going on here. And if you guys do have any questions about 
building our own home gym or things that I like, things I don't like, things I would have done differently. Leave them in the comment section down below. Be specific as possible so I can give you very specific answers. And hopefully if you guys do have questions or, or whatever about a home gym setup, then I'll be able to help you out. But guys, I do thank you so much for all your support and everything. And hopefully you guys will be seeing me a little bit more warm with a little bit less steam coming out of my mouth when I talk. So I do thank you guys so much. I will catch up with you later in the week until I do go out something amazing. Keep working hard, people. Be nice to each other. I'll see you then. I got a lot of work to do.